Many Americans changing their plans and staying home this Thanksgiving because of the coronavirus. Many people could be prepping their first ever Turkey Day meal, and that includes our very own Jesse Irwin. As he gears up to make a turkey dinner at the Pittsburgh Fire Department. I guess that's the safest place for you, Jesse. He joins us live with some tips. <laughs> Tanya, I was on the phone with my sister yesterday and we were talking about how we have got to postpone Thanksgiving for a little bit and so we wouldn't be making the trip next week. And as soon as I hang up the phone, I, I realize, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to prepare a turkey on my own. So there's a lot of different stuff that people are going to be doing for the first time this year. And while federal officials want to warn us of the safety precautions with it, they also want to let us know about things like foodborne illness. Laura Podesta has more. From the turkey to the stuffing to the mashed potatoes, for many Americans opting out of their usual holiday plans during the pandemic, this may be the first time they're cooking the big meal. The first step, properly thaw your frozen bird and give yourself plenty of time. It's going to take some time to thaw this. And if you don't do it safely, you might have a food safety risk. So you need to thaw it in the refrigerator. This is our best method. And it takes about 24 hours for every four or five pounds of that turkey. Dr. Mindy Brashears with the USDA says when it's time to cook the bird, it's best to use a food thermometer. That food thermometer needs to be put into the thickest part of the breast and then the innermost part of the thigh and wing. And we want to get that turkey to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If you cook it to that temperature, the turkey is juicy. It's done. You've killed the bacteria. It's very important to prevent cross-contamination in the kitchen. That could cause foodborne illness. Wash and sanitize all surfaces, cutting boards, utensils, and hands. Wash your hands before you prepare food. Wash your hands during food preparation if you're handling something raw or something that could be contaminated. And wash your hands afterward. 95 to 99 percent of our consumers and observational studies don't wash your hands at all or they don't properly wash your hands. Once the big meal is done, get the leftovers into the refrigerator within two hours. Break them into smaller containers so they chill quickly and toss everything after four days. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York.